how does this council justify continued increases in every other department and not even scratching the surface of addressing the roads issue that you've spent almost an entire day on in the retreat. We spent another city council meeting on and we're gonna do that in future years. Blaine, that's a fairly strong disregard for the work that is going on currently to get us to the solution. Before we, we've all, we should have learned at least in the last couple of years that when you come forward with only part of the information that the public needs to make a decision like how to solve the road crisis, they're not going to be very supportive of it because there isn't enough research and detail in it. This is an extremely large problem. And working with the county and working with the state, we are working with the undead in this forms of money place. So to, to say that it's a whim, I think is maybe overstatement do you expect this need to be resolved in 2016 absolutely not well then what's but, wrong with coming up with a plan that addresses it in swallowable bites over a 20-year period because if you never begin on the plan we have started it's it's likelihood of completion is questioned i think that you lack some information well or you're choosing you're, to ignore it you're entitled to your opinion no, I actually have facts that we have studied this and they have been presented in this room. I and think you might be your point stretching. Is. You might be accusing the council of sitting on its laurels and not implementing some kind of a solution to solve roads. Research the magnitude of the problem. And I think that that is not the entire truth. Now, if you want to talk about the road budget, think, Blaine, have to admit what the city is currently spending on roads is higher than what it has spent on roads before. And if you look at the study that this group of people has undertaken to solve the kind of problem that Mrs. Jolly is raising, it's a comprehensive plan. It's not a patchwork. It's a comprehensive plan. And it does take time to put together. And it still needs to be presented to the people. This this is big. It's not a five person decision all by themselves. So, if you're trying to compare growth in other areas to keep up with inflation or other needs, and thinking that that is going to somehow make up the four million. I'm not sure that that's the answer because we haven't finished all of the study. The road study. So until we get that finished and get a complete analysis on the 3.6 to $4 million, we don't really know how big the problem is? No. Until we get an analysis on how much money we're asking citizens to come up with. Just like we would ask for any other thing that the citizens want and they need to pay for. You can't just put it out there without facts. 